What is going on, Cancer? What is the answer, baby? Tell me what is going on. It is Scorpio Red Tarot. I am back at it again one time for the one time. Yes, indeed. We are here to find out what the energies are surrounding you for the month of July. Yes, 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 yes. Shout out to everyone who is celebrating a birthday. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing and clicking this video. I want to show you guys the new decks that we have here. We got a few decks thank you guys for everyone who has been booking a personal private reading with me recently thank you to everyone who has been um sending love ever through paypal or through the amazon wish list all of those links are in the about tab um these videos um if they've been resonating i just appreciate you guys just sending the support because it helps the page grow and it helps me continuous to spread my learning and my developing into the art, you know. So we have the um, Genius Music deck here. We also, we just got the East versus West rap quotes playing card deck here. We have the Alice in Wonderland playing card deck, which I've probably seen me use as well as the Under the Roses Lenormand deck. So we will be using these decks today. Well, we will be using these two decks today, all right? So, thank you guys again for all of the love and support that you guys have been sending. If you want to book a reading with me, um, click that link in the About tab that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Book with me and then link up with me. You'll see my Instagram link directly under my booking link. Go ahead and send me a message to say, hey Reds, this is so-and-so. I book with you on this or that day. And we'll link up for the video chat there. Um, if you don't have Instagram, you can connect with me on Google Hangouts. Only thing you need to do is use my email, which is Scorpion Reds at gmail.com and then we can do the video chat there if you don't want to do a video chat you can purchase an add-on um, which is the video recap uh, direct upload add-on in the menu when you're purchasing your reading okay um, you can also use that if you want me to record the live video session of your reading and if you just want to keep that video so you can go back and look back at it forever forever you can have it forever so if you want me to record the live video chat session you can use that add-on for that or if you don't want to get on camera you can use it for that as well and you can just send me your question all right just make sure when you send me your question if you don't want to get on camera and you just want the direct video upload only tell me what you want to know don't tell me the situation going on while you're asking the question okay so let's get into the reading you guys father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of cancer thank you so much we are here trying to get the answers in regards to what we can expect in the month of july and um we are just really just flying and we are elevating ourselves we are soaring we are rising above the bs father god and we are just moving faster towards our purpose thank you so much for the steps that have been provided and laid before our feet so that we can walk on our path like i said towards our life purpose and our destiny and our um yeah towards our destiny father god we're feeling free we're feeling abundant um i know a lot of us been going through you know some level of difficulties but like i said at this point for my cancers especially during our birthday season we are flying above the bs everything that is meant for us is coming back to us and we wherever it is that we are seeking we shall find because we are determined for change in our life father god so thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons please give us guidance for the sign of cancer for the month of July 2019 and thank you again for everything that you have given us because we are so thankful for all of the resources that you have given us because you never leave us without Father God you always give us exactly what we need and right on time so thank you so much Father God please give us guidance for the sign of cancer all right now we're going to get into the daily guidance okay let's see the daily guidance we got for the sign of cancer for the month of July all right what is the answers that we're seeking here? So, I tried to record this video like three times. I y'all know. Okay, because it's like pre-retrograde or whatever. So, well, probably by the time this comes out, it will be retrograde. But um, when I tried to record this twice, what came out previous was the heart chakra and creative projects. Um, and I've seen a lot of blue. So that's throat chakra. I believe you guys are really working on trying to stimulate your thought process and getting some understanding going on. Because um, it was like y'all had this blue cloth wrapped around your head where it's like 
you are trying to formulate some understanding about what you want to speak. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're ready to speak your truth about something. And when you're able to speak clearly about what's going on in your head, it'll help heal your heart. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I got from that heart chakra card. And I also got that you guys are like focusing y'all energy. Like I said, y'all are rising above the BS. And what is this? Entrepreneur. <laughs> I was about to say creative project. Y'all are rising above the BS and it's a creative project that y'all have been working on. And what I was saying in the other video that I was trying to record was somebody is working on like a clothing line or something like a men's clothing line, like um, sweatpants, t-shirts with some type of logo or something like some type of embroidered logo like it's like a man's line like i could see I, it was like y'all were designing like a shoe it was like y'all were designing a shoe a shoe and like a like a streetwear men's clothing line and the shit was like lit it was like these sweatpants shorts and like all this okay so like in dc we got this um Back in the day, that this is dating me. We used to have this um, brand called Madness, and now there's this brand called Sabiato. Um, I think people still, yeah, I still be seeing people wear. Of course, people still wear Sabiato. They wear Sabiato here, and then um, it's this other brand that's new, our uh, younger generation. We have this brand called Eat out here. So that's what I was seeing, something kind of like that. And if you from the DMV area, you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. So I'm definitely seeing like a male cancer, like really on some entrepreneurship. And it's like, oh, and I seen someone like a female churning some churning something like they were making like shea butter like shea butter whips or something like some type of like moisturizer creams like they have their own artisan soaps moisturizers they have like um i was just seeing whipping um what else was i seeing because this has to do with this entrepreneur card because it says self-employment suits your disposition and intentions Work for your, working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways. So you are seriously about to light that flame because whatever the fuck y'all been going through, y'all just overcame a major mountain. Y'all see that mountain in the back? Y'all have overcome a major mountain. And actually it's split in half. It's like God parted. God did something impossible. Like he it's like he did something that only he could do to make it possible for you to have this freedom to work alone and do what you're doing right now. And you guys are really whatever it was that y'all were going through, excuse me, were going through, because it ain't are going through, were going through. Because right now I definitely see y'all are on y'all own with this entrepreneur thing. Y'all are just take y'all taking a big risk. Like God parted the sea for you to show you that He's real. It's like someone was like spared or saved from something. You know what I'm saying? Cause it, it, look at that mountain. You see how it split? Like God moved this mountain and parted it in a way where you could come through and see safe refuge on the other side, so you could be who you was destined to be. And it's not. You working for nobody. It's not you relying on nobody. It's about you. You know what I'm saying? And focus on your talents and your gifts. What is this? The seven of swords in reverse. It was like you guys pulled like <laughs> a disappearing act like on somebody. It's like you guys from the princess of wands. It's like you guys try to not try to sneak away like y'all snuck away and y'all got away from someone and it's like not even and, it, and, it, and, it, and it's not that you this is someone that made moves to get away from a situation and even if they get caught leaving they don't give a fuck you understand what I'm saying it's like I'm leaving by any means necessary like it's something to the aspect of I feel like someone had to do something that they didn't want to do to free themselves of something like you see how they broke something open you know what I'm saying 
Like they had to steal their life back. They had to steal their life back in an unconventional way. I see this princess of wands right here. This is a young woman. And here go a princess of swords. That's that damn stalking. Six of swords. Moving. Like I said, y'all left something. New beginnings. Queen of wands. It's like y'all left someone that was young and immature. Y'all left the princess of wands to get to the queen of wands. Because you want something new. You want something... You want someone that was more mature. You need you looking for something more mature. Or either you just grew the fuck up. You understand what I'm saying? If this is a female, this person grew up. This person pulls in a, an impossible... An impossible trick. It's like what the swords, the seven of swords. This is someone using mind tricks, manipulations, and like, um, like very deep thought out tactics to try to. I'm trying to give you guys an example. Okay, so like say. Okay, so Fat Man, Batman. Fat Man, Batman is from the Aries video. If y'all don't know who Fat Man, Batman is, if y'all watch the Aries video, he's from there, okay? You see him, he's always a little grumpy little thing, but we love him anyway, right? Okay. So say you try to get to the other side. You over here and you trying to get over here, but you got to get past this motherfucker right here that clearly is looking like he's having a bad day and he ain't about to let nobody through. So what you going to do, yell and fuss with him or argue with him about why you need to get past or you going to try to use your charm and your wit and your smarts and stuff like that and try to put a smile on this person's face to make them think within their own right in their own mind that they should let you go past you understand what i'm saying when you first approach the situation it seemed impossible like this person is having such a bad day they are not for you and they was not about to let you through but this person with the seven of swords they have the ability through their thoughts and and and, and being able to tap into people's uh, emotions and to manipulate a situation you see what i'm saying they were able to manipulate Fat Man, Batman to make him believe that it was his choice to let them through versus them tricking Fat Man, Batman to let them through. You understand? And it's like once Fat Man, Batman let me through to the other side, Fat Man, Batman turned back around and was like, hey, I know what you just did. And then like cancer turns around and be like, and bitch, you already let me through. Get the fuck one out my face. Like, you already let me to the other side. Like, what you gonna do? Come catch me? You know what I'm saying? Like, and, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and this person, I, I don't know. I think that this is somebody that Cancer is dealing with. The Princess of Wands, this is someone that is young. This is someone that has the ability to pull off magic if they were to study their craft a little bit more. If they were able to... Um, like a young person is flighty like they like to start stuff and then they get all excited about something else and then they'll kind of like leave it hanging and jump you see what I'm saying so like this is someone that started something and then I feel left it behind and went doing something else do you understand they started it but they didn't finish it and it was merely because of their immaturity and because the fire burned, you know what I'm saying? It sizzled down. So, and then I see the Princess of Swords here. This is stalking. So, this is someone that, due to their immaturity and their inability to see something through, through fruition, to give the full attention to detail to something to make sure that it grew appropriately or that it lasted like whatever this was it didn't last due to someone's immaturity in their flightiness if you will you know they put it down and they went and picked something else up and when by the time they got back to it it was gone look it was gone <laughs> you see me this shit was gone six of swords this is someone leaving everything behind because there was some type of mental challenge or imbalance it was too much arguing fighting it was too much manipulation like I, I really do feel like it was a, like a lot of mental 
uh, manipulation. And swords can also denote violence. You know what I'm saying? It can denote a lot of different things. So I'm not saying, I don't see a lot of violence here. But I do see stalking. I do, I do see invasion. I do see boundaries being crossed. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because for someone to feel like they had to stoop to this level to get away from someone. And this person is like, I feel like and even with, because you got to understand, like the Queen of Wands is a very magical, very attractive, very energetic. She's very action oriented. Like she is someone that will use her sex appeal and her, you know what I'm saying? To get what she wants. Like she knows she's beautiful. She knows she's curvaceous. She knows her magnetic power and just you know how it can lure people you know what i'm saying so this is like someone that used their youth and their sex appeal and things like that like they know how to use it to kind of attract things to them but they don't know how to keep it and it's not necessarily because I feel like they're not necessarily putting full attention and time into it because they go off the other shit due to immaturity. And that's what kind of fucked it up. And I do feel like, 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 like I said, some level of control or some level of manipulation or something because of the seven of swords. Because for someone, I feel like they have to stoop to that level to get to someone. And uh, like the way her arms are spread out is like, come back to me. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like this person is like trying to summons them back and they're searching for them. Do you see what I'm saying? Like this motherfucker had to sneak away <laughs> like <gasps> in the middle of the night or some shit. Like it was like, they had to think long and hard about how they were going to get away from this situation without getting caught. And it's like, even if I get caught being brave, to say, I don't give a fuck. I'm still about to go. And like, what, you gonna fight me or something? Like, it's like, because like this motherfucker is in this. You, do you see how he's in this boat? And it's like someone is, this mask is like coming at him trying to like blow this gas at them. And this person is like trying to defend themselves. It's like they feel like they're having to fight to get away. Like they're at war. You see this lightning and everything. It's like this person has gone through hell trying to get away from this person and it's because they want new beginnings they want to plant a brand new fucking seed it's just like in this book here like they learned a fucking lot they learned about grassroots efforts like if you want something to grow you have to plant the seed and you have to be intensive you have to be patient you have to be willing you have to be nurturing you have to be abundant you have to feed it you have to take care you understand what i'm saying like this is what cancer is looking for and that's what they're moving towards and it's like i i feel like a, str a, a like cancer went through a, a a struggle and a battle here Cause like I'm I'm serious like look at this you see I just person's like they are trying to blow some poisonous smoke or something to them so they they could pass out on the boat and get captured or something so they can't get away and like cancer's like no bitch like no I'm willing to fight you in this boat oh shit and if you look it look it looks like the boat is going down it's about to go down into some like hole or something like that I don't know it's like this person is trying to distract cancer so that they not paying attention to that hole that that boat is about to fall into so that they hurt themselves like what the fuck why am I getting that that's crazy but it's like cancer wants to plant a seed and wants a new beginning something that is going to be that is going to grow a new tree of life like a brand new life they want a mature woman they want a woman that is beautiful that is like it's like cancer likes that fieryness you know what i'm saying like what is this this is uh sagittarius aries leo um they like that fieryness they like that vivaciousness they like 
someone that's cultured. They like someone that knows who they are. Someone that goes after what they want. Someone that is like athletic and just, you know, they like it. Like even someone that knows how to stand up for themselves and like they like that, but they don't want to be controlled. They don't want to feel Cancer don't like that shit. Cancer don't want to be fucking controlled. Like, this is someone that is, like, that was being, con like, held captive almost. Because, you see, it's like they had to break this glass and, like, steal something to get away. Like, they had to break open this glass and steal a key to get out of the door. Like, someone had cancer locked into a house with a dead ball or something, like... You know those one of those keys, those old doors where you have to have a key on one end and a key on the other end. And if you take both of the keys out, you can't open the door. Like, it was like some type of... I don't know why I'm getting it. I'm so sorry, y'all. And please only take what resonate. If that doesn't resonate for y'all, please don't take it. But I feel like it's like... The Princess of Wands to the Queen of Wands, they want someone more mature. Because whoever this younger person was... Was someone that felt like they had to keep cancer held in a box. And it's still the princess. It's still, you know what I'm saying? It's still a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. And I did say something about Fat Man, Batman, Aries. Maybe they were dealing with an Aries female. Like, seriously, that is just, like, controlling. I'm hearing, I, I am hearing abusive, like... Or maybe this is what the, um, but I'm seeing women here. I'm seeing women. There's three women. It's, it's women. But, you know, of course, you can, you, you know, choices. And this is in the reverse here. So, in regards to this, this person, they feel like they are being forbidden to make choices. And I don't feel like, wow. Well, I've said forbidden. It says feeling blocked, restrained. Yeah, you see like the sadness. It's like they were feeling forbidden to choose what they wanted or something. I, I don't know if this has something. Like, I don't know. Maybe, is this someone's mother or is this like, oh, I want to find out who this is. Who Who is this? Who is this that's controlling cancer? What's going on with this situation? Please give me some further insight. Because I'm like jumping. I'm like jumping. Y'all always do this to me. Give me guidance about the Princess of Wands. Thoughts. And what was this? Set and well. So this, this young person, they feel like... They're going to reach some type of sudden wealth through cancer or something. And that's the reason why they were trying to, like, held them captive or something. It wasn't trying to let them go. And like I said, they're summoning them back. And they're searching for them. Like, they're stalking this cancer. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it has something to do with money. Something to do with some type of financial obligation and them seeing how they're going to come up financially this queen of wands child as well this has something to do with a child so maybe this is like what is this mature man I mean and again this is not even like I haven't had this, this shit in this fucking reading before like someone trying to trap someone with a fucking child Uh, anyway, let me just let me just go, bro, because I can't I can't right now. The choice is in reverse. Giving up too soon, feeling daunted by challenges, or stuck in an in-between place, an unwillingness to alter habits in order to transform, reluctance to move forward, a lack of curiosity. It's like this person is 
this person is trying to forbid you from having choices. It's like this person is trying to control you. Like by financial obligations. Because you have to be the mature man and take care of this child. And like every time you try to get away, you get caught. And it's like this person is summoning you back. And they're like they're stalking you. And they're like watching every fucking thing that you do. And you're still trying to get away from this person. But it's this person has like a grip on you. And then even the entrepreneur is like someone wanting to go at something alone. They don't want... To be with anyone else. This is someone that wants a new beginning. You know. With someone that's more mature. You know. Not. Because whoever this is. I, I feel like they. It's due to like immaturity or something like that. Clarify this choices. What's going on with cancer? Please give me guidance. What's going on with my cancers? It's like you're trying to, like, anytime cancer tries to go away, it's like they take this financial obligation. It's like you owe me money or you have to settle something with, you know, it's like, <laughs> give me guidance in regards to cancer, his choices. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. The Chariot. Like, they're being chased. Like, you know? Look, in the upright. They're being chased. But they're at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? It's like, th th like this shit is sinking low. This person is sinking low to do things to, like, capture them. And Cancer, there you go. It's like... I know how to play this game with this person now. I really do feel like y'all are building y'all confidence. Like, y'all are tired of going around and around and around in circles. You do not like the cards that have been dealt on the table with this situation. It's like an uh, unfortunate event and you're tired of going around and around in a circle with this motherfucker. You're tired of this person trying to chase you and trap you and control you. You know how to play your... You, it's like, I really, I really do feel like of a serious boost of confidence here with cancer. Yes, the Ten of Pentacles. You know, it's most definitely a family obligation. There is there is definitely a family obligation with a child here. Most definitely. It's like, I'm moving forward because I want a healthy and happy family environment. A healthy and happy family environment. And they want to be able to rest and be comfortable. Like, I just feel like for some reason, like, cancer is really not comfortable. The three of cups here. It's like they want to reunite with someone. They want to go out and celebrate. They want to go out and like they want. It's like they want to go back home or something like that. Because these it had these pictures on the wall. Like these are old pictures. And this person is comfortable. They're asleep. It's like when they get on like yay. Like what's up y'all. Like you know what I'm saying. Like it's somewhere. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. It's like, I, I feel like I got to pack my stuff up and move back home almost. But it's like you're moving back with some type of baggage, though. You're moving back with some type of baggage. But it's like, it's like, unfortunately, I'm coming back with a whole bunch of bullshit. But I'm just happy to be home. I want to get away from this, uh, from this bullshit. What is this? The Tower. It's like you snatched a motherfucking rug up under somebody's feet. Like, you know, something explosive pops off. Something explosive pops off. And what is this? The Ace of Wands, New Beginnings. I told y'all. I told you guys. You tired of this motherfucker chasing you. You, you feel like someone's just after you. And I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of it. It's like you guys are hopping off of that hamster wheel. You know exactly how to play your cards with this motherfucker now. Because you don't been around that wheel a couple of times with this person. You moving back home to comfort. And you still have a family obligation with this person. But I just feel like you have to get your mind together. It's something about you guys just need rest. Like y'all need rest. Y'all just need to... Be in a comfortable and stable environment. 
a comfortable and stable that is the most important thing whatever or whoever whatever it is that cancer considers home this chariot is going home to a healthy comfortable stable environment that they know it's like i don't i don't have to leave here you know what i'm saying like these are my friends these are my family. These are people that love me. These are people that enjoy me. I enjoy them. I'm going to get some sleep. And I'm going to celebrate. And I'm going back home to reunite with the people that fucking love me. And I don't got to go through this bullshit with. And I'm free. You know what I'm saying? It's like. It's like celebration. It's like wherever the fuck it is that cancer is going with this chariot, they're going to play their cards right this time. And they're going to fuck off. It's just they're going with baggage. Unfortunately, I got all this bullshit with me, but, you know, because I had to pop some shit off. And I did listen. I did, I, 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 so it's <laughs> cancer is going home. They're carrying a whole bunch of bullshit with them, possibly a child. Um, because they are being a mature man, like, regardless, like, this child is here, they're being a mature man, so they're coming back with a child. Because three of cups is three, the three is the baby. They're coming back with baggage, they're coming back with baggage, and that might be unexpected. That might be unexpected, and not only that. Whoever this person is leaving, they're not going to expect this shit because cancer is going to play. I'm trying to tell you with this chariot, cancer is going to get off of that unfortunate goddamn hamster wheel. They're going to play their cards right. And this motherfucker is going to be like, what the fuck just happened? Like, yeah, I just bust off on your ass like that. You ain't did listen. And it's like this person almost thinks that cancer cannot carry this burden alone with this baby. Or whatever the hell this is. You know what I'm saying? And she's just like, bitch, you guessed it. And you was motherfucker right. You try again. Try again. Watch me now. Watch me now. You understand what I'm saying? Like, what? Watch how I pull off on hoes. <laughs> like, listen, I'm moving forward like shit. I am going. And it's like nobody's stopping me. This is a, listen, this is a desert. A desert. It's nothing there. It's just blank clean slate for them to build whatever the fuck they want to build and you see how high that flame is burning like they are serious about it when i'm talking about ser listen serious about that shit you understand or well, whoever the fuck they about to pop off on and let these motherfuckers know like i am leaving i am going home fuck Look, and then in the back of the round is mob ties. Sick of these niggas. Sick of these niggas. I'm high some help. Get rid of these niggas. Listen, entrepreneur, I'm doing this shit by my fucking own. Like I told you, like, if, if cancer got to carry the baby, if cancer got to motherfucking pop off for my life, like cancer is well aware that they got to carry this burden. Do you understand what I'm saying? But they moving forward. The, the, the day they are going to celebrate. They are going confidently. Look, it was what it was. It is what it is. I'm so tired. I'm knocking them off because I got ties. Cancer said I got ties and high motherfucker. God damn, I'm getting chills. Cancer said I got ties and high motherfucker places. It's too late for all that lovey dovey shit. It's too late for all that. It's too late for all that shit. Give me guidance for my cancers. And y'all will see me use um, my phone to clarify. I'm going to go intuitively off of what I'm getting off of the playing cards. And then I'm going to just clarify what it says. Clarify this spread for my cancers. Woo! So, the two of diamonds drink me. What a curious feeling. Like I said, someone is trying to entice cancer by gifts jewelry um clothes vacations um material things it's like 
they're trying to gift cancer and get them to lower their inhibitions, if you will, to trick them into drinking something. Like, it's like, okay. The Eight of Spades. You balance an eel on the end of your nose. What made you so awfully clever? Because they've been through so much shit. And like I said, the number two represents balance. Do you understand what I'm saying? This also denotes to me to just be where, because like I said, the spades represents mystery, obligations, frustrations, problems, roadblocks, secrets, suffering from loss, karmic debts, obsession, addiction, sickness, anxiety, law enforcement, anger, loneliness. The reason why cancer is able to look at this potion, look, this motherfucker says, drink me. You see how cancer is looking at it like, uh... I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, you offer, you, your offer sounds nice, yeah. You're going to give me all of this shit if I drink this shit. But at the end of the day, I ain't learn how to balance a motherfucking eel on my goddamn nose by being a, a, a rookie. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have been down this fucking slippery slope with you. Listen, like I told you. Didn't I tell you before up here, it's like... Do you see, I want y'all to look, do y'all see, this is a hole. It's like the boat is about to fall into a hole. And this person is defending their self. It's like they're too busy defending themselves by this poisonous gas that is being thrown at them. That they're not even paying attention to the fact that their boat isn't being steered in the right direction. It's about to go into a hole where it's going to, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're, this person is too busy worrying about them being hurt this way. And you're going to be more hurt this way. But this person knows that. And they're trying to distract this person. Because they're trying to get away from something. Do you, you understand what I'm saying? And this person is trying to distract cancer by gifts and everything and cancer is like um i'm not drinking shit i ain't no fucking rookie i don't been i don't been through this shit before i'm tired of all this misfortune and this drama and this confusion and this fuckery i am done i am moving forward like i told y'all cancer is moving they're not drinking shit they ain't become who the fuck they was overnight they ain't get smart out overnight they ain't no spring chicken what is this? The king of space? Look, I'm the king of space. I'm the king of, of fuck shit. <laughs> no, but like for real, the king of space is like, you know, the king of space is like, so, and what does he say? He says, if you should, if you, if you do such a thing, I'll have you buttered. <laughs> if you should do such a thing, I'll have you buttered. Uh, listen, you should be doing something a little bit more than having her buttered sweetness. Like, it's like, regardless, even though it's like this cancer, whoever this is, they have such a fucking sweetheart because it's like, I don't want to fuck you up. I don't want to hurt you. Like, just let me fucking leave and like, leave me the fuck alone. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're trying to poison me, my nigga. Do you see what I'm saying? Like. You see the key on the table is like, drink me and I'll let you have the key. And Cancer is like, I know what's in that bottle, bitch. I, I, I know how to make decisions with that number two. I know Chanel from fake Chanel, bitch. That ain't real Chanel. You trying to give me some fake shit. And at the end of the day, don't piss me off before I butter you. I, I, I fucking... Rub some butter across your nose or some shit. And it's like, you should smack the shit out of them. But it's like, this cancer has changed. And they're trying not to stoop to your old manipulative ways. Because the king of fucking spades is, if you want to get dirty, they the king of dirty. But this cancer, for some reason, they're saying, I'll have you buttered. Which is like, I'm really not going to harm you. I'm just going to like pluck you or something <laughs> like i don't know i feel like they're they're going to get their jack they're going oh they're going to get they're going to get they're going to get somebody to come get them it says their heads are gone if if it pleases your majesty oh so cancer is not going to do anything they're going to get somebody else to do their dirty work for them and in this person right here it says take some more tea the March hair said, 
I have nothing yet. So I can't take anymore. Like I said, someone is trying to force cancer to drink something, to accept something, to take something, and cancer doesn't fucking want it. Excuse me, guys. Cancer does not fucking want it. Do you see what I'm saying? They know how to make balanced decisions. They know fake from real. That shit is fake. They're not willing to drink this to get this key. Do you understand what I'm saying? Stop trying to make me drink and eat something that I haven't. You, you trying to give me more of something that I didn't even take the first bite of. I never accepted it in the first place. Do you understand what I'm saying? And this person, whoever this is, is like trying to force cancer to do something here. Like... You are, cancer is not going to do something to you. They're going to call someone to come and do something to you. You better off just leaving them the fuck alone and letting them go on about their fucking business. Dead ass. Dead ass. Because the jack of, the, the jack of uh, uh, clubs is, is like armed force. Is someone that, you know, it's armed force. You know, so let me let me just get some clarification here so y'all can just know what the T is. Y'all can know what it be. Y'all can know what it be. Where we going with it? Where we going with it? Where we what 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 what? First off, let me tell you about this eight of this eight of spades. This eight of spades traditionally is a card of disappointment, illness, physical restriction. I told y'all a loss of balance, a lack of uh. Oh, I can't fucking <laughs> talk. A, lot, a lack of reciprocation. I can't. I don't know. I just could not get it off my tub. A loss of balance. A lack of reciprocation. Unrequited love. Something one-sided. Not mutually beneficial. Physical imbalance. A health problem. A mental imbalance. A doctor. A dentist. A psychiatrist. A wound. A pain. An insult. Feeling slighted or snubbed. Hurt feelings, emotional upset, reassessing of one's gold, examining one's accomplishments, investigating or researching a question or problem, medical exam, civil service exam, scholastic exam, forensic exam, police investigation. Wow. Wowzers. And let's see. And like I said, it's like you want me to drink something. I did not become. You balance and ill on the end of your nose. What made you ever so fucking clever? I ain't become like this overnight, my nigga. I done been through this shit the fuck before. I done been through this fucking circle with you before. The king of spades. Let me break you down. Break you down here. The king of spades, a man of authority, ambition, and power, divorced. Like I told you, they're divorcing someone. Widowed, an older man, a leader, a lawyer, a judge, a police officer, a health specialist, a man of a foreign country. He can be arrogant, opportunistic, deceptive, cold, calculating, shrewd, possessive, emotionally controlled, detached, a rival in a business or love situation. Okay? So like I told you. This person can be very, can can go there with you. But as you can see, it's like this King of Spades is still not trying to go all the way with them the way that they can. Because they, they've been like <laughs> deceptive and cold and arrogant and they know how to be an opportunistic type of person. And it's like this person... Is trying to bait them in with gifts and stuff like that. And it's like, they think that cancer is going to bite the bait and they're fucking not. They're fucking not here. Let's go real quick. The two of diamonds, just so I can clarify the two of diamonds for you guys. Two of, <laughs> two of diamonds, intellectual exchange, financial partnerships. I told you, this person is trying to like... A small money card, payment made or received, written correspondence, financial news, a statement of bill, insurance paper, written report, independence, a, a, a fertile imagination, <laughs> writer, journalist, financial help or loan, stomach, food or a kitchen. Like I told you, this person is trying to do not accept no food from this person. Cancer. 
Do not accept no food from this person. And y'all told y'all, y'all already pushing the food away. Do not accept nothing from this person. Like, they're trying to fucking poison you or something. It's like, this person is like, if I can't have you, no one can have you. Like, that is like, kind of like, I don't want you to eat nothing from this person. Don't accept nothing from this person. Like, literally, like, call your folks, like you said, like, call your folks from this person, on this person, so they can leave you the fuck alone, because it's like someone's trying to, cancer trying to get the fuck away from somebody, and they're just, like, doing the fucking most right now, like, the fucking most, the jack of clubs right now, the jack of clubs, a hardworking, honest, sincere young person, he's a busy and active young person, often a male, very clever and enterprising, he enjoys sports, Sounds like most cancers I know. Um, may participate in school or community football, baseball, or soccer. Can represent an employee and often denote as a young acquaintance from work. He can be a close friend or business associated association who is going to be useful to the inquirer in some way. He may wear a uniform or symbolize his work. This is a police officer, so it's like cancer knows like a police, it's like cancer knows someone that is, works in um, like security or like the FBI or something. They know someone that can handle you. And it's like cancer can get down and dirty with you. They sell because like I told you, they're the king of that shit. They're the king of that shit. But that's not who they are no more. And it's like, I don't have the... I don't have to fight with you no more, Slim. I'm doing what I want to do anyway. And like I told you, this person is not going to see this shit coming because this person keep playing with cancer and cancer is about to blow their fucking shit off, you know? Because they are moving towards this new beginning regardless if this person likes it or not. You cannot control cancer no more. Do you understand what I'm saying? You are not controlling cancer no more. Not only that, they have certain goals that they're trying to go at alone, and they don't want no one to fuck around. They need peace. They need to be in. Like I said, they need to get away from this drama so they can fucking rest. And it's like, when they get home, <laughs> when cancer, cancer, it's like, when I finally get home first, I'm just going to sleep, and I'm just going to just enjoy being the fuck home because I made it off of this shit. Like, I made it off this shit. I'm tired of this shit. Like, it's like, I'm tired. It's so many movement cards here. It's so many movement cards here. And like I said, the nine of goddamn clubs. This, is, oh my gracious, traditionally a card of luck, of travel. I told you. They are not accepting what you are trying to feed them. Whatever poison that you put in that food, cancer knows that you're trying to fucking poison them. It's like someone doing some type of kitchen magic or something on them. Something. Something. This person is doing something. Like trying to put period blood in they fuck. Like you be hearing like that weird ass shit. Like bitches be doing shit like that. It's like, like it's some weird shit like, like that. Because they don't want. It's like a binding. Bi <sighs> I don't even want to go there. I'm sorry. Because I really don't like talking about shit like that. But that's honestly what I'm getting. Like someone is doing like some type of binding shit. So that cancer can't move. And doing other manipulative things. So that cancer has so much of a burden on them that they just rather stay where they at, where they can't move. But cancer is moving. Look, I, like I told you, the hamster is off of the fucking hamster wheel. When the fuck you ever seen a hamster walk around like that? Come on now. Again, traditionally a card of luck, travel, achievement, luck in business. A, a luxurious business opportunity, a lucky break, a successful career move. Boom. Like I told y'all, y'all don't, it's like whatever was keeping you trapped and bound there, cancer, something is about to pop off for you where you could go at shit on your own. Because I'm surprised I ain't seen the devil card pop out yet. Um, it says the, representing time and space, distant, someone or something far away, a long duration, Something long lasting, surrounding by space, this card can denote long delays. A card of travel, um, notations from time and distance. This card can represent a journey for business or pleasure. This card can represent an emotional, uh, psychological, or spiritual journey or a quest for self. This person is not going to be controlled anymore. No more. You will not control me no more. And it's going to be 
something shocking, something sudden, this shit is going to, I mean, when cancer pop off, they about to pop the fuck off and they not playing. Let me try to tell you, cancer not fucking playing right now. Give me guidance right here. This is the Oracle of Visions deck. Oh, this is also a new deck that I just got here. Right up here, the Oracle of Visions deck. This is also a new deck that I just got. So, I just forgot to pull it out to show y'all. Mm. Give me guidance. Oh, shit. Okay, like that? Y'all just gonna throw it down like that? All right. Y'all are aggressive as shit. Yes! Come on, Cancer! Come on, Cancer! It's like, I like how I look by my fucking self. It's just like, Cancer like the fuck the way they looking right now. It's just like, man, listen, all of this shit, the way they bossed up like this, like they like the way they fucking look. They like the way they look. They like the way they look. I like the way I look. I like the way I feel. Listen, y'all done broke the fuck out of that goddamn cage. Y'all are going towards y'all dreams. Do you understand what I'm saying? Let me see what this, like, it's like. I have to be able to appreciate my reflection. I feel like this situation right here, where they were being controlled like this. They didn't like their reflection. They didn't like what they were seeing. They didn't like what they were becoming. You know what I'm saying? Like, even this king of spades, it's like they kind of felt weak. You know what I'm saying? Like, they were being so fucking controlled. Like, that's not that's not no king of spades that I've ever known to say I'm going to butter you. Like, what the fuck? Put some butter on you? Like, no. Like, what? <laughs> like, no. That's like, no. No. Let me see what this means, you guys. So... 43, obsession, delusion, self-interest, okay? This means a stream of light penetrates a dark room revealing a solitary figure like Miss Hashfam from the great expectations. She sits in a world of her own isolation. Her reflections are her only companions. She peers herself yet again. Reassuring herself with false truths. The mirrors do not lie, but her obsession does. Indulging her only with images of what she wants to see. Her excessiveness represents an ever-increasing desire to create an ideal that is never achieved in reality and is not even required. We should look in the mirror and see our true reflections as others would see us and strip away psychological makeup, ego, and vanity. So, I feel like this denotes, now what I said off of my intuition, that most definitely represents cancer. But this person right here that I just read here, if that don't sound like this person that is self-delusional, like I said, obsessive, I said someone was stalking, they are trying to bring... For cancer to have to go through this extreme to get away from somebody. You know, restricting someone from their choices. Obsession. Delusion. Self-interest. This is someone that, like I said, all for self. And cancer did not like being controlled by this person. With these obsessive and delusional views of what they wanted cancer to be what they wanted the situation to be this is cancer breaking free from that shit look 4334 listen 4334 reverse sorry you guys reversed reversed so let me see what this says real quick I right, hurry up and get to get 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 it. Breaking free, tracing the dream. I told you breaking free, tracing the dream. Finally breaking free. A real horse embodying true inner spirit escaping from the carnival shell, which represents his existence up until this point. The constant repetition finally ends and he soars through his glass confinement. He escapes and transforms. Okay? And it's witness and in awe. 
but it's also envied by those who he leaves behind. Wow. This card represents the numbing routine of daily life. For example, the mindless repetition of the morning commute. What might be comforting and familiarity to some can be claustrophobic choking of our inner spirit. We occasionally escape through dreams of what things might be, but at some point we may actually act upon them in amazement to others. And again, it says this transformation is witnessed with awe incredibly but also with envy by those he leaves behind. Like I said, this shit is about to be, this shit is about to go down. And Cancer is not playing. Clarify this for me. Who is this obsessed, um, self-delusional person? Who's breaking free? Give me guidance. Give me guidance. Journey. Yeah. Leaving. Packing that shit up and leaving. You're leaving a false person. Hmm. I told y'all, leaving a false person and going back home. Oh, there's bad health. Wow. Due to bad health. Damn. It's like a lot of fucking stress and anxiety. Like, God damn, bro. God damn, sweetness. Oh, and then what's this just fell out? Community. I feel like there was a lot of cheating. There was a lot of, ooh. Ooh, someone is leaving. Because there was a false person that. Ooh, that caused into a sickness due to him being out in the community, y'all. Like, someone ended up with an STD. Wow, that came out in one of the collective readings, too. Clarify this, please. Damn, Slam. The fuck, mo? That's crazy. What is this? The gentleman. The gentleman is the one that's leaving. The male, the male cancer is the one that's leaving. The locket. They're leaving and they're going. They're following their heart. What's this? Mice. Yeah, they're following their heart. And not only that, um, it's just it's it's been a it's been a lot of chaos and it's been a lot of worries and it's been a lot of mistakes, stress and problems that have been made you know what i'm saying and this gentleman is following their heart and i and i definitely feel like they're leaving this they're leaving they're leaving this mice okay it's like they want happiness they want to they want happiness and it's like it's gnawing at them that they need to go follow their heart. It's like a gnawing sensation. Like I got to get, I got to go towards my heart. I have to go towards my heart. Last card, you guys. Give me guidance for my cancers. Right, though. What's this say? It says, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. This is a reading about freedom. This is a reading about courage. This is a freedom, a reading about someone taking a stand and not being controlled. And anyone that is going through something like this, my heart goes out to you. Know that you deserve, I don't give a fuck what mistakes, what problems, what stress, what chaos, that you, everyone has choices, everyone makes mistakes. But like it says, give thanks for the blessings of the love that's soon to come your way. You're going home. You're going 
to your comfort. You're going around your family and your friends so you can get yourself together and bring forth everything that you truly deserve. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. And like it says, my cancer, you are going towards what your heart truly desires because it's a non-sensation that you're about to get everything that your heart truly desires. And that's exactly what this says, gentlemen. You are going towards your heart desire because it's gnawing at you. You know, you know everything that your heart wants, that you deserve it, and that you know that you deserve to be and have all of your heart's truest desires. It's gnawing at you, and you're going to have it. Go at this alone. Not only is your business going to pop off, everything that you ever want is going to pop off. Be brave. Love you, Cancer. If this video resonated, click that like button. Peace.